what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we're here to make some of my beautiful miso glazed eggplant recipe one of the best ways to have eggplant if you appreciate the content please like subscribe and share and yeah let's get into it all right starting off we're gonna take two medium to large eggplants we're gonna slice them in half lengthwise and then we're going to use a small paring knife or whatever knife you have to score the inside um, in a diamond or square or cube style fashion. Now be careful not to cut your fingers and just uh, do the process just like you see I'm doing in this video. Nice and slow, don't need to rush. Safety first. So once you're finished scoring your eggplant, what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay it on a tray and you're gonna give it a nice generous dose of salt on each um, surface of the eggplant where you've scored it. And you're gonna put that aside so that the salt will draw out the moisture and the bitterness of your eggplant. And yeah, that will give you a better flavor and a better end product. Now you want to lay that eggplant aside for about 20 to 30 minutes or so and you'll see all the moisture at the top and after you see that it's starting to form what you want to do you want to take your eggplant and wash it all that all that salt off your eggplant and yeah because you don't want that salt in the cooking process right you'll make your eggplant way too salty so what you're going to do you're going to wash off that salt dry pat dry your eggplant and get ready for your miso glaze. Don't be afraid to give your eggplant a little bit of squeeze to get as much of that moisture out when you're pat drying it. So when you go to bake it, you'll get nice, non-soggy eggplant at the end. I mean, if you do like soggy eggplant, you know, be my guest, but this is not the makeup of this recipe. So once your eggplant is nice and dry, you want to lay them on a tray and set them aside and start getting your miso glaze ready. So get all your ingredients together. All the ingredients will be in the description down below. All right, now for our miso glaze. Once you got a small bowl and all your ingredients together, the first thing is going to take two tablespoons of miso paste and put it in your bowl. that you're gonna take two tablespoons of maple syrup and you're gonna pour that right into your bowl after your maple syrup you have two tablespoons of your sesame seed oil oh I love the fragrance of sesame seed oil it's a beautiful thing walk in your apartment and that's all you can smell you can't get enough your next ingredient is going to be two tablespoons of marin. Put that in your bowl as well and we on to the next ingredient. Next we have some soy sauce. So we're going to do one and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce. You can also use dark soy sauce. Either way it's going to be delicious. Now that you have all your basic ingredients in the bowl, you want to take your whisk and incorporate all that beautiful flavors and just whisk until everything is incorporated. You have no lumps, everything is smooth and nice. If you feel like your mixture is too thick, what you can do is you can take a little bit of warm water, warm water and thin that out just a little bit. But make sure not too thin, you don't want it too thin, you still want it, to, it needs to be in a glaze consistency. Mm -hmm. 
Now that your miso glaze is finished, what you're gonna do is take your eggplants and you're just gonna drizzle of the slightest amount of sesame seed oil on top. You're gonna rub that in for that nice, beautiful fragrance. And after that, you're gonna glaze your eggplants. Now I know I didn't mention this earlier, but make sure you taste your glaze before you start brushing it on your eggplant. Make sure it's, the taste is balanced. What you want to do is have a little bit of sweet and saltiness to it. And yeah, just balance it out. Add a little bit more maple or a little bit more miso if you need to. Okay, once you're ready and your all sesame seed oil is all applied, what you want to do is take a pastry brush, take your glaze, and you just want to apply that over your eggplant and get get all the edges it doesn't matter if your glaze runs off or not it's just more flavors on the side more flavors in the top more flavors in between all your scoring that you have so go wild with the glaze because once you're in the cooking process all that beautiful glaze is going to caramelize and give you a little more of that sugary goodness on top and a beautiful color as well now if you don't have a pastry brush to do this with, don't be fret, don't fret. You can use a spoon, you can use your fingers, you know, in most cultures they use their hand to eat, they use their hand to prep food, just make sure your hands are clean, alright? Let's get to it. Once your eggplant is nice and glazed, what you want to do is sprinkle some I personally like smoked paprika, but as you see, I don't have smoked paprika in this video because my shelf wasn't stocked as properly as I wanted it to be, so I had none at hand. So I had to go with just plain paprika, but get some smoked paprika because the aroma from smoked paprika, ooh, just right. Plus on top of that, it will give it a nice smoky flavor and make it kind of feels like you did it on a barbecue. Alright, now that we're ready to put our eggplants in the oven, we want to set that oven to 425 for 20 to 25 minutes or until your eggplant is caramelized fully on top and your eggplant is cooked all the way through and beautiful. Now that your eggplants are cooked, tell me you, you cannot deny the smell coming out of that oven. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to let your eggplants just cool. Um, just for a little bit just cool down to where you can handle it with your fingers You want to take it slice it on a diagonal or however you way you like you don't have to follow this to the T um, After that you want to garnish with a little bit of sesame seed oil a little bit of sesame seed and some chopped um, on the diagonal green onions And that's it I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Hope you guys use it. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comment if you guys were able to make this one. Let me know how much you like it. Let me know if you like anything tweaked with it. I can always redo this recipe by your request. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you guys did like the content, please leave me a like and a subscribe. We are trying to get this channel to 1K subscribers before the year is done. So anything you guys do will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.